Hi everyone. So today I'm shooting. Yay, I'm in the studio. It feels like it's been forever. Um, I am shooting a little girl and her mother made her a black swan costume for Halloween, although it's past Halloween now, this is November. But um, I wanted to do some really cool shots, maybe some action shots. Now the little girl that I'm shooting is a dancer and an actress and so she's so good at following direction you might have seen a couple of pictures I've done of her before I've used her for some composite stuff but I will show you my lighting setup it's super simple but it's very impactful screw up again so this is the lighting setup I've just got uh, a gray backdrop on the floor um, an olive green one that I painted myself as the background however it's gonna look almost pitch black now you can see that I just have a Rotolux four foot octa camera left <laughs> right there. And I just have a Paul Buff Alien B above on a boom for her hair light with a grid. And because the background is going to appear mostly pure black with a little bit of shadow, I did want to make sure that I lit the top down so that there would be rim light. And that's pretty much it. And that's just a a uh, self-made little white v-flat right there and that is all so i will be recording the behind the scenes of this so that you can see me do it okay so with this first set i decided that i wasn't going to bother recording any of the instruction as far as audio is concerned it's sometimes easier to do a bit of a voiceover and I didn't have my microphone handy so I thought I would just do a voiceover for you so essentially all I did was I just walked her through some poses I tried to allow her to do some of her more dancer type moves on her own and because I'm not a dance photographer I'm not super familiar with any of the posing in that so I let her do some of her own things and then um, for specific posing I guided her a little bit through that. Now here what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the backlight and I'm gonna have her turn and face sort of three quarter of the way towards the light. And the reason for this is because these images are perfect for composites and um, more creative edits. So I wanted to make sure I got at least a couple of those.
So I'm just gonna quickly go through my initial call of the first shots. Just so you can see, I have not actually edited any of these ones yet. But I just wanted to show you. So whenever I shoot like this and I have the light above in the back, I already know that I have a lot of removal to do in in the editing process, right? So, but that's okay. I just wanted to show you what it looks like straight out of the camera. So these ones here, the reason why I did this lighting setup as I discussed earlier is because these types of images right here are really, really ideal for composites and storytelling. So I really like to always have an image like this but I guided her through some poses. She is a dancer, so she does have some of her own way of doing things. But these are the portraits, super cute. So really pretty, very contrasty. Um, it's, it's just lovely, lovely light. And there's so much you can do in post when it comes to these images. So this next set was just another backdrop that I painted myself. I'm using a Mola Demi beauty dish with no grid and the inside of it is white. And I'm just trying to get it as close to her as I possibly can. And I'm trying to get a little bit of that paramount lighting so there's a wee bit of a shadow underneath her nose. And after I do a few shots like this, I'm going to actually add my four foot octa in behind me just for a bit of fill because the light is so high it will create that raccoon eye situation which is not really ideal but um, the audio is not super great but I'm gonna let you hear it so the backdrop can you come forward for me So the light, if you see this light is up there, we're not going to really have any light in your eyeballs. Um, I'm going to bring another light in in a minute, but for the time being right now, I want you to focus on keeping your face raised and your eyes towards the light, if you could. Okay, so watch your legs, watch your pose down here. So pretty, pretty legs. And I want you just, yeah, even that's really pretty. You don't have to look right into the light because you're going to go blind, okay? But focus like right here. If that's easier, a bit easier, I'll bring the other light in in just a sec. I just want to get one of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. This light sources. So come, come, come. Right where you are. Right there. It looks funny when they stand flat on point. Right? Duck feet. Okay, are you going to attempt? I have to get a little further back here. Are you going to attempt? Let me just check the light first. One, two, three. I'm going to get you to do the same thing. Just tilt and tilt to the side, sweetie. Yep, yeah, and turn. Yep, yeah, just like that. Now do it. One, two, three. Try it again. One, two, three. That was cute. One, <laughs> two, three. Good job. Just try to keep your face up and turned. Yeah. One, two, three. As long as, of course, the flash didn't go off. That's awesome. Okay, up and turned. Turn. Yep. One, two, three. Okay, so when you did it that time, everything was good except you were like this in your face. So you have to, I know it's hard to go, okay, I gotta get up on point, I gotta watch my arms, I gotta watch my face, all of that stuff is difficult, right? So give it, give it a try again. One, two, three. Yeah, same thing. Yep. But that's okay. Tilt, if you tilt and you kind of, and yeah, and you just twist your body a little bit that, that way, yeah, now try it, okay? One, two, three. Oh, that was perfect. That was okay. Yeah, that was perfect. One, two, three. Beautiful. 
<laughs> One, two, three. Good girl. Okay, we're, with this lighting setup, we're gonna really go for some attitude, okay? And I love that. You can even just come up on point like this. Yeah, like that, and kind of lean into it. And then this, and turn. Okay, so you're gonna be like this. Lean forward, turn, and angry. If you can do an angry little look. Yes, that's perfect. Love it. Can you look right at me and do that? Yes. Chin up just a smidge, babe. Tilt just a bit and angry. <clears throat> Stay there, because you look brilliant. Okay, one more time. Angry, grr. Chin down a little bit. Angry, grr. Turn your face. Go like this. And lean back. I know it's going to be hard. I need to see your other hand, so bring your other hand around onto your skirt. Bring it around like this. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful, stay there. I know it's hard. Love that, love that, love that. Can you do that? I know it's going to be a bit to ask. Can you do that? And close your eyes. <laughs> Atta girl. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of close-ups and you're done. Can you look down the line of your arm? So like this, look at me. Beautiful, don't look right at me. Chin up and look right here, right at my finger. Beautiful. Okay, turn your face. Yep, right there, stay there. Chin up a little bit. Okay, so here are the straight out of the camera shots from the last set. Again, these are not edited, but I will show you three edits that I did from this last set, and I would love to know what you think, so please comment down below. The three edits together probably took me about two and a half hours, and you'll see why. Mm -hmm.